It's been a whole freaking year and I'm still wearing the same shirt that I did last time I made this video. But I wanted to wear this shirt because I thought, hey, it's kind of cool that I'm wearing the same shirt um, on the same kind of topic of the video because it was a year ago that I came out. First, real quick, I want to say thank you. It was said to me by the freaking awesome Shelly. It's an Israeli rainbow flag. I just came over here and I hung it right now because I don't want it to get super, super ruined. So what better way to have it in the frame because it is rainbow and uh hey it's you know a little bit of pride all the way all right so it has been an entire year on december 30th it will be an entire year since i came out of the closet and time has flown by so i wanted to talk about this because i sat back the other day and i was reflecting on how much has improved in a whole entire year i never dreamt of this moment i never dreamt that it would be this way i thought i was gonna have a really shitty year and a lot has really been freaking awesome and amazing for me and I wanted to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you are still in the closet and I have been there before and for 23 years I was in that closet and I was absolutely miserable. I did have my good days but I was not how I am now and I want to share that with you guys. When I made that video I was crushed. I was completely not the Stacey that you see today. Prior to that I had lost myself a lot and it wasn't okay and I, and I started hating how I was. I really did and it brought me a lot of problems. Going back and seeing how I was in that video, it, it makes me cry because it's I, I was really torn up and uh, not just because of what was going on but because at that moment everything started hitting me that how I had become was not who I really wanted to be and, and I had barely started to take baby steps to the life that I am living now or the moments that I am living now in the now and um, when you guys write to me and you tell me that I that I touched your heart with my story or that you guys cried with me it feels so nice and I don't even know how to explain it but it's a really good feeling that that you guys can relate to me because as I said a million times when I was growing through this when I was growing up I never had that someone to help me through or those people to help me through and now you guys have YouTube you have everybody on YouTube all the LGBTQ community all the supporters all the allies everyone who's talking and defending and standing by your side and you guys need to take that to your advantage take those tools watch them watch videos over and over again and know that everybody's behind you and you're not alone and I wish I would have had that when I was growing up because I didn't know what the hell to do and I was confused for so long and I felt helpless for so long but that's why I wanted to share my story that video has over a hundred thousand views which is freaking awesome and I think it's just, it's just freaking amazing and so thank you for always commenting and sharing your story and allowing my story to help you and touch your life because it was something that happened to me and I'm glad that I could share that with you guys how I came out basically I went through a heartbreak and I and I needed people at that point because it was really bad so I had to come out to my mom and my sister. It didn't feel like the right exact moment, but it felt like I needed to get it off my chest in order to be able to be helped or feel better or get over that hump that I had not been able to climb over for so long. So I was 23 years old when this happened. Almost before my birthday, my birthday's on January 11th, and this happened on December 30th. At the beginning, my mom was actually really in denial. Like when it happened, she was like, you know, I support you and um, I accept you no matter what, you're my daughter. My sister was like, mom loves you no matter what. It was cool and then my mom got a boyfriend and I started noticing that, you know, it was it was how excited she was to come home and talk to all about all the funny things that he said to her, all the things that her, or the sweet things or when they would go out and all this other stuff and like she was just so happy and I felt like I was missing out on so much because I was scared to talk to her about anything because I was scared that she was going to reject what I had to say and she did because when I started talking to her and I brought up the issue and I told her that I felt like I wanted, I wanted to be able to talk to her like that, she kind of was like no, you know, like kind of made me feel like I wasn't normal and, and I knew deep in my heart that it was something that she had to slowly get to because it wasn't something that she could automatically just be like oh yay my kid's gay because she comes from a very traditional mindset and I knew that it was a process just like it was a process for me to learn and accept that I was gay and that it was going to be okay and that it was fine and it wasn't a problem. I understood that she needed time and she asked me for time and I told her that it really hurt me that I couldn't talk to her and she told me we'll bring a guy home and you can talk to me all about that. She saw how much it hurt me because I cried and I explained to her and I was able to open up with it to her so that was that was where the breaking point between her being in denial and her starting to really truly accept how I am. My oldest sister, because I don't really, I haven't really communicated or talked about it or anything like that with my middle sister and I'm pretty sure she knows because word runs around like crazy. It's a relief because it's like, well, you know, hey, I'm included now. And, and then my little niece, my Itzy, 
I'm so thankful for that girl. I'm so thankful for her. And I love her so much because she's always, you know, making sure that I'm okay or talking to me and showing me that she understands where I'm coming from and that it's okay and that she wants to fight for the issue as much as I do. And having a support of so young and so close and just having somebody understand you is just such a relief. And I love that and I appreciate that. And I couldn't ask for a better little niece because it's just amazing what, what she says to me and, and how much... She shows me that she really does care. I've met a lot of amazing people this year, people that I have never thought that could ever be in my life or would ever be in my life or that I would ever get the privilege to know. And I've learned a lot about myself through that. When you go through situations like this, you really do learn who your best friends, like truly best friends that stick by your side no matter what. And it's surprising to see who really is your true friend and who, who isn't. And it's sad, but it's also a good thing because you get to know who you can trust in this life. It's stuff like that that, that just makes you further realize who really, are, who really is there for you and who really supports you for you as a person and not because of other things. I've also learned a lot about myself. Not that I didn't know a lot about myself, but just because I've become who I've always been and opened up another chapter of my life, I've learned so much more about myself, which is a great thing, which is something I really do enjoy. Something that's really important to me is that I finally completely have come to terms with the fact that the universe has a plan. It's just clicked this year and I've seen it. I've seen it in action and it helped me let go of so much and just ride out with life, you know, and that's a good thing. Another thing I've learned this year with coming out and all that that ties into that is that Everything really does happen for a reason, and that's been proven, and that's been engraved into my heart, into my mind, because I've seen it firsthand, and, and I could not be happier with the results of what has happened to me, and I really, really do love that. It does happen for a reason, and again, it's like something that you always know, you hear, you say it, but it doesn't become true until you actually feel it or see it, and I've seen it, and I've felt it, and I know it, and it's a fucking amazing thing. So many things in my life happened this year that, to help me understand why I had to go through it, why it was a must to go through that, and that's why I try to push it onto you guys, because it's the truth, it's because I've proven it already and I've seen it many times. It all makes sense once you go through it and once you see what the reasons are. The day that I came out I felt like I was left with absolutely nothing and I went from that to waking up one day and having everything that I've ever wanted or that I ever dreamt of or that I ever hoped for and that was amazing to me because it wasn't so much of a shock but it was more of a like hey and I, I get it I understand. I lost so much but I gained 20 times more of what I had lost. I never thought in a million years that I would have what I have now. And it's great. And and I think a lot of that has to do with also, I mean, the plan that, that the universe has, but a lot of positivity. And I know that if I would have stayed negative like I was, I would have not gotten to where I am now. I've also learned that I have true supporters. That is amazing. You know, I, maybe if there's only 2,000 of you as opposed to 40,000 of you, I still have true supporters and I love that. And people that have stuck with me this entire time. And I really do appreciate that. I really do appreciate you guys. And I owe all of my positivity to you guys because that is what motivates me. Is I tell you guys all the time to stay positive and keep that attitude up because that's where all of that has led me. You guys will see that, hey, if I'm doing it, you can too because because I'm just another normal person just like you and we're all in this together. It can't always be that way, but more often than not we can always change the situation to be more positive and find the positive in everything. My life has just completely taken a 360 degree turn and I love it. I really do love it. I just love where my life is going. I love the direction and where it's going. And I've taken everything that I've learned and that has happened to me and applied it to my life. And sure, my life is not perfect and it won't ever be close to perfect. Nothing ever is, but it has gotten me to live such a happier life now that I'm feeling more comfortable in my own skin because I've been able to be myself and come out. It's been great. It really has been great. But it has been completely better than it was at the beginning of the year and I'm so thankful for that. I'm so grateful for that and I love this. I love that I'm making this video with such positive happiness. Like I, I'm feeling all this happiness exude for me and like I just I love it. I really do love it. It feels so nice to be happy and smile and be able to be here right now and saying this to you. Because I never at the beginning when I made that last video I never thought that I would be here right now. I thought that you know yeah things would be better but I didn't think they would be this good. As a result of coming out I noticed that I could finally be myself and I could finally start to love myself because that was the moment when I knew that I had already started the process to fully accepting myself because that was really hard to do growing up. It was really hard to do. I genuinely feel like I do accept myself and then I have begun to love myself a lot more than I have ever 
of myself. I mean, it still fluctuates here and there. I won't lie about that. It's always gonna happen. You know, it's not gonna be completely peachy from the day that you come out to forever after that. But it does still fluctuate for me. I still have my good days. I still have my bad days. I still have my ups and downs. But I have felt far more comfortable in my own skin than I have ever, ever felt. And it's a great freaking feeling and I love it. Once you get to experience that, you will know. Just this entire year has taught me so much and has just, I, I feel, has, has made me feel a lot wiser. And I don't want to say that because I feel a little older because, um, you know, the whole saying, the older, the older, the wiser or something like that. I'm not calling anybody old and wiser. I'm just saying there are some that who are younger and much more wiser than I am. I ain't saying nothing. This next year, 2015, is going to be one amazing year. And I feel like from here on out, it's going to be great. I know it. I know that things are only going to get better from here on out. And I, <laughs> I'm waiting for 2015 to take it and run with it because I'm ready for so much and I just want to thank you guys for always being here for me just showing your unconditional support and I appreciate it I appreciate everybody who has stuck with me who has um, taken what I say into consideration and applied it to your life and I hope that I can continue to do that this year let's all just stay positive and uh, enjoy life because we really do only have one that we are aware of. Just make it a good one. Smile and enjoy it. Enjoy it. Don't rush things. I did not rush for 23 years. I had many people telling me, hey, you need to come out. I had friends that were like, come out, come out, just do it already, dude, just do it already. I did it and then you feel so liberated. But it wasn't my time and that's something that a lot of people had to understand and they didn't. When you when you cut back down to it, it's, it's when you're ready and when you feel a little bit more ready because there's not ever going to be the perfect timing for this. But when you're far more ready and you feel more comfortable in your own skin, you come out then. Don't worry about what anybody else says. When, like I always say, you're living your life, not anybody else. So if you're not ready, don't worry about it. Just enjoy your life and everything will come later. Everything will fall into place just how it's supposed to. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos and subscribing. And thank you so much for following my social medias. If you want to, all my social medias are down below. You can follow me. You can ask me questions on Tumblr. You can ask me anonymously, anonymously if you'd like that has that option on there. I know on here you can't really do that. So thank you again. And we'll, I'll see you next time. Happy 2015. Happy New Year. I love all of you guys and I'm really excited for this new year and I hope you are too. Be safe this new year and I hope that all of you have your 2015 kiss. If not, I hope that you go to sleep dreaming about it. But be safe you guys. I love you and I will talk to you guys next time.